Content Studio version 2 will launch in fall of 2019 for use with Data Studio and Show Control version 2.18 in later software. This new version is very intuitive and makes dynamic data creation much easier. This will be a separate app that can be launched without Display Studio open. Use your Venus Control Suite login credentials to log into Content Studio. How is it different? Content Studio will now have added features that will allow user improvements for those interfacing with Data Studio sources. This could be a sports interface, weather, or other providers. We'll take a quick peek at adding the data source in Data Studio, and then we'll take a look at how to use that in Content Studio. Watch as this user goes through the steps to add, edit, or remove a data source. Simply name your source, copy-paste the URL, set the refresh rate, and choose the file type and save. You'll find your feed in the Dynamic Data Library view. Not finding it? Simply select the Refresh button to update the view. In this case, we are finding our KBKX weather that we just set up in Data Studio. Select the feed to open it up and view the data. Note the bold text behind each component which shows you the data that will populate for that field. We found the feed, looked over our options, and are ready to build our presentation. We'll start with an eye-catching background, then create an opaque field background for each field to set on to make the text easier to read. Add the first text box. Select the Format tab and click the X in the bottom right of the fill area for advanced options. We're going to choose more colors, select an orange color, and then adjust the opacity before selecting OK. Now we'll just copy-paste and adjust for each field we'll be adding. All right, now we're ready to simply drag and drop the information we want to appear. We're selecting location, our radio station sponsor, weather, temp and Fahrenheit, and the wind string. Now I'm selecting all in order to quickly format the font size and add an outline. Next, I'll adjust as needed and add a text box for my sponsored by area. It's looking great and we just want to check one more thing before saving. Any error associated with a data field that is dragged onto the presentation is dynamically added to the list in the viewer. If the field data cannot be located, an error will populate letting you know. Fortunately, we have no errors. Had we found an error, we could simply remedy it by dragging a different field into the viewer to replace the errored out field. Since we are happy with the appearance and all fields are good, let's preview. 
Real data will show in the preview if it is available. Our last step is to save our presentation. Let's take a look at how easy it is to edit existing fields by simply copy-pasting or by renaming the presentation and just changing the source. We can also modify content that has already been created and pick other fields and sources using the same format. Here's a weather format for Sioux Falls. With a few clicks, we'll save it to pull in the New York City feed in the exact same format without starting from scratch. Just rename the original content, then select it all and change the source in the Feed Properties ribbon. Although we're showing changing weather from Sioux Falls to New York City, we could use these same steps to change from men's basketball to women's basketball without recreating the entire layout.